Good morning guys, we're back here and welcome to another vlog. This is vlog number 54. It is Friday, August 23rd and it is 8.15. Um, you know, a little later than the PM. Got up, been doing some stuff around the house, trying to wake up and then I came over here to get these vlogs going since they do come out at 9. Um, so I hope everyone is doing great. It is Friday, end of the work week for most or some. I guess it kind of just depends on what you do. End of the work week for me. Work week for me. Um, yeah. Someone's calling me. Um, I hope everyone's doing great. Um, I hope everyone maybe has some fun playing for the weekend. I think I, we have friends coming over tonight, possibly. There's like a, a weird gray zone we're at where they, I asked them if they're coming. One said yes, let me ask the other one. And the other one hasn't got back. So we're like in the, the middle zone of figuring out what our plans are. But we're out to people come over, do a little bit of hanging out. Um, yesterday, what happened? Went, uh, well, I stayed at home for a while and was working on projects and stuff. And then I needed to talk to my PE. So unfortunately, I had to go into work, which I was trying to avoid. Um, went in, waited for, it seemed like forever, a couple hours for him to get there. Because I thought he was coming around lunch. Uh, he d didn't get into like two o'clock, so it's kind of annoying. But we went through some stuff from the projects we're working on. I clarified some things that I didn't know. Uh, stuff I'm working on. I'm I, I wasn't trained as a structural engineer, so a lot of the stuff I'm working on, even though it's CAD based, it's creating details for structural drawings. So I'm having to change things, and you know, I would like to understand what I'm doing. And the project we're working on. No one's even told me what the project was. I knew kind of who we were doing it for, and that's about it. So I needed to clear up some information with him. I did that. And then he spontaneously asked me and the other CAD guy um, if we wanted to take a trip to it's uh, to Omaha. But you, we would go from Raleigh, we would go to Charlotte, I think, to like New York and then to Omaha. It's some kind of weird like triangle uh flying and stuff but it would be this coming up monday and yesterday was thursday so he did he just kind of really popped it on us so i probably won't go but the other guy is going uh the other cad drafter and i found out his name is one letter uh yesterday which i thought was interesting um he goes by joe i don't know if that's you know any reference but when he was filling out some of the airline stuff uh I found that his first name is K, just the letter K, um, which I find to be very interesting. Um, I've never seen anyone with a, a one-letter name like that. I didn't think it was a thing that normal people do. And I was uh, asking them, you know, when, like, first day of class, where teachers, uh, you know, saying names out for to, like, get students to raise their hand, what do they do when they run into a one-letter name? And they say he's able to be like, uh, K blank last name and then he would raise his hand and tell him to call him Joe Thought it was an interesting uh, Interesting little tidbit uh, Thought it was an interesting thing that happened yesterday uh, What else happened? Uh, not much uh, Nicole did a stream last night and it actually did fairly well She was playing some of the Monster Hunter and I went and did groceries. I made some really good um, spicy like chicken strips, I was I was going to do some spicy chicken sandwiches, so I like made some homemade uh, chicken strips, floured them, cornstarch, uh, cayenne, red pepper flake, bunch of stuff like that. And then I'm we didn't have no buns, so I was making some like buttery bread uh, to put on it. Pop that in the oven. All turned out really good. The bread I left in the oven a little too long, and it was very uh, brittle. It was like uh, if you would to bite into like. I wouldn't say stale bread, but like if you bought bit into a piece of garlic toast that was just way too like dry and it like would like powderize in your mouth or maybe if even it had like the, the texture of a cracker maybe. So I threw some chipotle mayo on it and let it like soak in some of the chicken, like the flavor and get a little bit less brittle because you really don't want bread that turns into sand in your mouth. It's not, it's not as good, but they turned out really well. Um, it was just, I kind of just winged it. I've been trying to cook a little bit more, so it's one of the things that I enjoy, but I don't feel like I'm good at, and I hate when you make something and you try it and it's just really not good. 
to the point where you really don't want to eat it. I feel like it's food waste. So I try to like do the like weigh the pros and cons and when I'm trying something completely new, uh, especially if I don't have like a recipe and I'm just eyeballing it. But anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap this baby up. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you will have a fantastic weekend. Um, I might stream tonight. Depends on if we are hanging out with people. If not, I will make it up on a stream tomorrow. Um, if you like this video, you can hit that like button or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.